Good morning. I um, thought I'd just nip on today to do a quick walkthrough of an oracle that I've got. But first I've got some news. I was feeling a bit panicky last night during the night and I weren't feeling, I don't know what it was, a bit sort of scared and a bit worried. And I couldn't sleep. And then I got a phone call or video call this morning at quarter to ten to say that my baby grandson had arrived. Um, him and mum are doing well. My son's really, really excited. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous baby. He weighed nine pound odd, so he's he's a big one. But um, yeah, so today is a really fantastic day. And we're all excited. We don't know when we're going to be able to sort of see him in person, but obviously we can do the the video calls and the and the sort of FaceTime and everything. So that's pretty cool. So I just wanted to share that with you first. Hope you're all having a lovely day. It's beautiful here. It's really hot. Really, really hot. Um, right down to it. The Oracle that I got. I've had it about a week and a half, I think. About a week and a half, two weeks. Um, it's the Tree Angel Oracle deck, um, published by Earth Dancer, and it's Fred Hagenetta. Hagenetta, I hope I'm saying that properly, and it's illustrated by Anne Heng. And it's the ancient path into the secret grove. There's 36 cards, and you get a book. The, box is a nice box, your normal two part sort of box nice and sturdy inside, really nice up green really really nice colour, you get a nice book with it it's quite quite a sort of in depth book um, and it's got a sort of a a poem thing at the beginning and then it goes into the meanings of the cards um, and it says a little bit about the author what whether he, he sees them and it says tree angels exist Yet, although I can sense them, I cannot see them. This is why I have until now refrained from compiling a tree oracle, because an oracle needs inner sight. I don't wish to be prescriptive and to try to describe them when I myself don't know. So I waited for someone to come along with a clearer insight than me. Someone in the know, if you like. I am convinced that such people do exist, at least in some non-Western cultures, certainly among the Tibetan priesthood, or Siberian and North American shamans, for example. And it says, however, as you can see, no one did come forward to share their secret knowledge of trees with a wider audience. So there's a bit about them all in there. The cards are sort of normal, quite large, oracle sized. That's the backs. Card stocks. It's quite good, you know, it's not, not a bad cardstock. They are shiny-ish. But these are the pictures of the trees. And you can see the angels, the tree spirits or the tree angels in them. So, there we go. And now we'll go through. That's your ash tree. Walnut tree. Elder, I like this one. Holly. Rowan. Hawthorne, this one reminds me a bit of the Garden of Eden, I think. Or oh, the Lovers card could be six, it's the same as the Lovers. Oak. Aspen, Hazel, look at all the little tree spikes, Juniper, Linden tree, Pine, 
black thorn. You, I love this because they, you're meant to have, um, well, they're meant to have planted yew trees in cemeteries for remembrance. So, um, you know, I think if you're connecting with the ancestors and spirits, that to have a part of a yew tree is always meant to be good for calling. Field maple. Elm. He looks really mischievous, that one. Hope you can see them okay. Black poplar. Larch. The borders are quite big, but they don't really bother me. You know, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. These ones don't really bother me. That is one of my favourites, the white willow. Scots pine. Apple. Spruce, look at that. It does look like Jack Frost. The winter, the icicles. Got the back door open here, the babies, the children playing. Ivy. Olive. Almond. Hornbeam. I think this one's gorgeous because it's like a passageway. No, like a passageway to go in. Beach. Cedar of Lebanon. Horse chestnut. That one's gorgeous. Sycamore, Alder, Pear, Purple, Pipple, Jinko. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Little ones having loads of fun outside. Can you hear her? Cherry. Plant in the garden. And myrrh. Dogs are starting now as well. So I'm just going to shuffle these and then I'm going to pull one for us today. See what it says. For us all. Whoop, that one's jumped. Okay, we will have this one. And it is olive. So the book is, um, they are all numbered, the cards are all numbered, so it's really good so that you can go straight into the, um, the book. So what it says, it says the olive brings abundance and riches in a way that no other tree can. And because of this, the olive brings peace. In ancient times, the economies of whole nations, most notably the Greeks, were based on the harvest from this friendly tree. It became a symbol of Athens, peaceful trading instead of war. When Noah was nearing the bitter end of his time at the ark, he sent a dove out as a scout. The bird is said to have come back with an olive branch in its beak, which became a symbol of peace. It is the olive angel that tells us, there's a bit about um, God, in there if you, you know, if you worship God I take God as to be my own personal deity of who I'm who I'm worshipping myself it is the olive angel that tells us that all human beings can live in peace with one another and with the whole of the biosphere and that abundance exists to make this possible the olive tree's gifts are health and well-being increase and success. It stands for freedom, equality, equality, brotherly love, tolerance and tr true democracy as well as a happy exchange and a peaceful trade. Without the me medicine of the olive we become irritable and quarrelsome. We feel shortchanged and jealous of the success of others. On a collective level, if we disregard this angel the results are more dra dra dramatic. Suppression, exploitation, enslavement, strategic, third world debt, incalculable greed and war. 
and the oracle it says war has no winners with the first attack humankind has already lost riches come from within honor your adversary there are no enemies they will share their sunlight with you as you share your joy with them so i hope you enjoyed that like i say they are different but they are beautiful i love the pictures i just think they're they're really cool so that is the tree angel oracle deck ancient path into the sacred grove have a wonderful day everybody be safe take care of yourself have an enjoyable day whatever you're doing loads of love loads of blessings and i'll catch you soon bye